The Shetland Isles, the most northerly part of Great Britain, famous for ponies, sheep, wildlife, Vikings, and cattle. Really? Cattle? I, Shetland Kai, the original crofter's Kai, developed over centuries in the harsh landscape to provide milk, beef, and pulling power for the crofter. At one time, there were many thousands of these cattle, but farming and lifestyles change and by the mid-20th century, the breed was in real danger of dying out. Thanks to an enormous effort by dedicated breeders both on Shetland and on the mainland, the breed is now in much better shape. And changes in the way we farm and produce food should herald a new renaissance for this fantastic breed. With changes to the climate, there will be more emphasis on cattle that can thrive on grass-based systems, on breeds that can utilise land that can't be used for growing combinable crops and on breeds that can help to improve sensitive areas to support natural biodiversity. Consumer interest in food quality and food provenance is growing, and the call to eat less but better meat is growing. So, meet the Shetland cow. The Shetland cow is a versatile animal. She's relatively small. She can thrive on poor and mixed grazing. She's fertile, easy calving, milky and a great mother. For the small holder, the Shetland cow is the ideal choice. Her milkiness benefits the growing calf, but if you're wanting to produce more of your own food, then you can take some of that bounty for yourself. Milking once a day and leaving the calf on gives you far more flexibility than conventional dairying. Shetland cattle yield about 2,500 litres over a lactation, which is manageable if you're also holding down a day job. Too much milk can be stressful. Remember the milk lakes? And, unlike pure dairy breeds, you won't have to put a lot of bagged feed into her to get a decent amount of milk out. Cheese, butter, and the top of the bottle, right in your field. And you'll also have the prospect of the finest beef. Shetland steers, grown for two and a half years on a forage diet of pasture and hay, will produce a carcass of around 350 kilograms dead weight, classed at 04H with an excellent yield of top quality marbled beef. The carcasses will hang for 28 days if you want, giving a beef product that is second to none. When we asked chef proprietor Paul Newman why he uses Shetland beef in his Aberfeldy restaurant, he said, the meat is well marbled, oxygenated and hugely tasty. You can see the natural quality in the raw meat and during cooking you can smell the difference too. Whenever I serve Shetland beef in the restaurant, we receive fantastic comments and the older generations say how much it reminds them of what beef used to taste like. For conservation grazers and landowners with environmentally sensitive sites, the Shetland wins again. Her relatively small size, energetic foraging and enthusiastic browsing has given her a great track record as a conservation grazer. For those who want something a bit special and different, or for those who particularly want to have a Scottish breed, it's the Shetland. The Shetland comes in a number of colours, black, red, grey, brindle and dun, with small upswept viking horns, so not only is she useful, but she's very pretty too. And for commercial farmers, the Shetland is a sound investment. Long-lived, fertile, easy maintenance and maternal, and with a wide pelvis, the Shetland cow has a reputation for ease of calving and calves that are active and suckling quickly without intervention. The Shetland cow's milkiness and mothering ability lets calves grow quickly. The Shetland cow will produce an excellent suckled calf to any commercial bull breed, delivering a sound bottom line. But maybe think about going native, breeding a few pure, to stock your own freezer and those of friends and family. They will love you for it. So, whether you're a wee farmer, a big farmer, a landowner with conservation needs, a rare breed enthusiast, a Scottophile, or a lover of fine food, the Shetland cow has it all. For more information, contact the Shetland Cattle Breeders Association.